We're simplifying rational expressions. Let's get at it. Yeah, that minus is on the outside. You might think it's unreal, but it's not because the minus is on the outside. What are we doing when we're breaking down these roots? Boom, I have a two in the index, which means I'm looking for squares. There's a square in there. That's a 36 times a deuce, because that makes 72. And then I'm looking for even powers, because that's going to divide it evenly. So then that's going to be y to the 12 y to the 1, because if you have the same base and you're multiplying, you can add their exponents, and that's how you get that 13. Okay, so then I can break out my squares. The square of 36 is, or the square root of 36 is 6. The square root of y to the 12 is y to the 6. Why? Because if I take 12 and I divide it by 2, then I get 6. All of these are a product, and the root of the product is the product of the roots and vice versa. But what I didn't rehearse is what's left in the root. I have a deuce and I have a y to the one and then you know, I'm trying to reduce these roots on up over here. Oh boy, it's a higher order root. Root, root, the root of the product is the product of the roots. And I guess I could break it down. Why not, since I'm here? I'm looking for the third root of eight times the third root of x to the 27 times the third root of y to the 12. Over in that last example, I step some skips here. I spare no expense. So we paid knowledge to two times two times two times two. Psh, psh, psh. There's three deuces, so I get a deuce out. Get, that's, oh, oh, nice. And what? 27 divided by three. You. What is 27 divided by three? Nine, fine. So that's x to the nine. For sure, for sure. And I'm assuming that it said, assume all variables are positive. Cause, 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 that doesn't matter. It's the third root. Yeah. So then this is y to the fourth. And then what? <laughs> well, first, 12 divided by three, it's four. No remainder, nothing left in the root. Root, root. Yeah, the root of a quotient's the quotient of the roots and vice versa. So then I got the square root of v to the 19 divided by the square root of 81. Now I'll do that denominator, that's nine, fine. Why? Because uh, the square root of 81 is nine. Because nine times nine is 81. Further, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna break this down to v to the 18. Why? Because I'm looking for an even number, I'm looking for the things that are divisible by two, and then this is v to the one, just like we did over there. So, the square root of v to the 18, 18 divided by two, that's v to the nine, fine. Then I have a v in the root, oh, looks like so many v's, and then that's all over nine, fine. Can I cancel those nines? A puppy dies every time you do that. No. <laughs> Ooh, I like puppies. Man, I wonder what Brandon's doing. I heard he was reading meters. Oh, let's do this one over here. Yeah, all right. So let's do this a different way. We were, like over there, it was all like something divided by two. Now it's something divided by 33. So go ahead, go old school. Put, 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 33 in the halves, 15 out the halves. So it's gonna go in there a deuce, a deuce. So I deduce that that's 30. I change the sign, I add down, and that's three, two, two. This is our remainder. This is inside. This is outside. Yeah, so that's how it's supposed to be. This is going to be x to the deuce on the outside, and then on the inside, I have the remainder. That's x to the three. T, T, and then we. and flower. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.